Hello, welcome to my Zone online school. My name is Ms. Viola Aces, and I have somebody in my class, Pamwene, is also in grade six. Um, before we get into this, let us wear our mask. Sanitize our hands. Remember to wrap it in properly between your fingers at the back of your hands. And make sure if there are other people around that you keep your one meter distance. Today's lesson is social health. So the topic is social health, but our focus today will be puberty and sexual development. Puberty and sexual development. Let us all grab our books, get a pencil, get a pen, and open on page 18. At the end of this lesson, you should all be able to discuss the physical changes that are taking place in boys and girls during puberty and the sexual responses that are taking place in boys and girls during puberty. You should be able to define sex and you should be able to define sexual intercourse. New terms we will be learning in this lesson. Only puberty is listed there, but there are so many other terms we will be learning. Orgasm, masturbation, wet dreams. Let us all turn to page 19. When we are between the ages of 7 to 19, boys and girls go through certain changes. I'm sure that when you look at yourself, when you take a bath, you have seen some changes on your body. Yeah. So we will first look at the changes taking place in boys and then the changes taking place in girls. Pamene will assist me by showing some of the changes that are taking place first in boys and then in girls. Puberty is the stage of sexual maturity. The stage of sexual maturity takes place from ages 7 to ages 19. Girls usually mature faster than the boys. So changes in the boys. First, you will see that boys will grow taller. The height changes. Another changes in boys is that there will be pubic hair. Pupic hair is the hair that grows under our armpits and hair that grows around our genitals. Pupic hair, hair growing under our armpits and hair growing around the genitals. Another change taking place in boys is that the body becomes muscular. You will start to see some muscles developing. Not all the boys will obviously develop muscles at the same time, but it's between 9 to 19, so your turn will come. Private parts enlarge in boys. You will see that your testicles and your penis grows bigger. Um, so private parts enlarge. <laughs> Some people are finding it funny, yes. But there is a change. If you look at yourself, you look at your little brother, you look at your older brother, you will notice those changes. Boys will start to produce sperm cells. In the previous lesson, when you learned the reproductive organs, you learned that sperm cells are produced in the testes. So boys will start to produce sperm cells. Shoulders broaden. For the boys, you will see that the shoulders are becoming a little bit flat and out, just to show that masculine shape. The voice deepens. Most of the boys in grade eight still might have a squeaky voice, but your turn will come. Voice will deepen. 
and pimples appear. Not all the boys will get pimples. Some people's skin is different from the other. Some people get pimples in grade 6, others will only get pimples in grade 7. Some people might not even get pimples, so it differs from person to person. But pimples appearing is just an indication of puberty, nothing much to worry about. Okay, we will now look at the changes that are taking place in girls. Ramoina, can you please hold this out? Thank you. Changes in girls, the very first one there shows pubic hair um, from age 7 to age 19. Girls can already um, grow pubic hair, pubic hair under our armpits, pubic hair around your genitals. The breast will enlarge, they are already breast, but then they will just enlarge as your years go. You will see that your breast are maturing. Um, some people, depending on your family, some people's breasts grow much faster, other people's breasts take time to grow, but it is all part of puberty. Everyone's breast will mature. Girls start to produce axials. Axials are produced in the ovary. You also learned that in the previous lesson. Ovaries produce axial so girls will start to produce axials this is already an indication that um, the next thing is happening girls will start to get their menstruation your monthly periods will start nothing to be scared nothing to be surprised about every girl will go through this so when you get your menstruation you share with somebody that you trust and then they will guide you Hips widen in the girls, you will see that your body becomes more shaped. In the first example there, you can also see how the hips are forming so that people can see that, yes, this is a girl. So your hips will widen, your body becomes more shaped as a girl. Pimples appear in girls. Pimples appear, a lot of pimples disappear on their own. You just need to wash your face and let it dry but some of the times girls want to stress over the pimples and you press them and you apply all kinds of things <laughs> and then they are not going to disappear so when those pimples appear just let them be it's just a stage of puberty they will disappear okay thank you thank you So puberty, a stage of sexual maturity. Puberty happens between ages 7 to ages 19. Girls usually mature um, before the boys. But during that time, whether you are 7, 8, 9 or 10, any of those age, you will start to notice the changes that I just mentioned on your body. We are going to continue. We are still on page 19. Sexual responses in boys and girls during puberty. Sexual responses in boys and girls during puberty. The other ones that we mentioned were the physical changes. You are able to see those changes on your body. But now those are the sexual responses. Sexual responses are normal experiences. Nothing to be afraid or embarrassed about. All of them are part of growing up. Everyone will go through them sooner or later. Just know that we can all control our sexual feelings. They are all in the mind. We are able to control them. So I'm going to explain three sexual responses. They are on page 20. Three sexual responses that are taking place in girls and boys during puberty. The first sexual response is the feelings of attraction. Boys are attracted to girls, girls are attracted to boys. People are chasing each other around the whole day for what reason we don't know, but those are just indications that you are attracted to this person. Feelings of attraction. 
Another sexual response, masturbation. Masturbation is the self stimulation of the genitals to achieve sexual arousal and pleasure. In simple words, it simply means touching yourself on your vagina or touching yourself on your penis. You are going to feel some kind of sexual desire while you touch yourself. That is masturbation. It's just part of a sexual response. You don't need to try it. <laughs> you don't need to try it. You wait until you are 25. <laughs> Another sexual response, wet dreams. Wet dreams, when a person orgasms involuntarily during their sleep. Experienced mostly in boys, then in girls. Wet dreams can be triggered by sexual thoughts. Um, you are watching a sexual movie and you go sleep, then those wet dreams will be there, or you are watching naked pictures. So wet dreams can be avoided if you stick to your schoolwork, read only schoolwork. You will not have any issues with wet dreams because it, it is involuntary, yes, but you can control it. When we go through puberty, there is a lot that we need to do. One, if you have pubic care, make sure that you cut your pubic care. It's good that you want to show your friends that you have pubic care, but if you do not shave your pubic care, you are going to have some kind of smells under your armpits. There will be some kind of smells around your genitals. So shave, use the right diodorants also. When girls start getting their menstruation, very much important, change your pet all the time so that it doesn't leak through on your dress or it doesn't become smelly. You need to be very, very permanent during this time when you have your menstruation. You can't be running around and jumping on the slides. You have to behave during this time. And also when you remove your pet, wrap it up in something and throw it away in the dustbins. Boys, when you have sexual feelings or feelings of attraction towards a girl, does not mean that you should be aggressive and force this person to want to like you. No. Just because you are attracted to the person doesn't mean they are also attracted. And sexual feelings can be controlled. Very much important to know that. Two very important terms that we need to know is listed there at the bottom of the page, sex and sexual intercourse. People usually get confused um, between those two terms. Sex simply means your gentle. When you complete forms, you will always see there that they write sex. Your sex is your gentle. Are you male? Are you a boy? Are you a man? Male, man or boy? And female, are you a woman? Are you a girl? Female. So your sex is your gender. Then the other one is sexual intercourse. Sexual intercourse is the physical act between people involving the reproductive organs. When the penis enters the vagina, that process is known as sexual intercourse. Too much information that some people are receiving. It is very important that you receive sexual information so that you are able to protect yourself the right way. On the next page, page 21, you will receive self-assessment questions there that you need to answer. The first one, Write down physical changes that occur in boys and girls during puberty. So you can mention four changes in girls and you can mention four changes in boys. Write down sexual responses that occur in boys and girls during puberty. Any sexual change that is happening in boys and in girls. Then the very last one, define sex and sexual intercourse. The memorandum is there at the back, but please do not jump to get the answers yet. Answer it first on your own and then take a pencil and mark yourself. See how much you have scored and that is the only way that you can rate if you have understood.
Okay, I so hope that you have enjoyed this lesson and that you have learned a lot about puberty and sexual development. I hope to see you in the next lesson. Um, we will sanitize our hands once again every time that you do an activity, every time that you go out, before you eat, anything that you do, like the entire day, you have to sanitize, sanitize. Keep busy, stay home, stay safe. Thank you. Social distance, remember. Bye-bye. <laughs>